Welcome back to Jeebus Gaming, guys. We just went by our five below and found one really heavy bag and one smaller bag. It's significantly smaller, but it has a lot of weight to it, so I have no idea what's in there. Anyway, if you're new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button for awesome dumpster driving videos every single day and leave this video a big fat thumbs up. And let's get into the bags. <laughs> So I'm thinking we should start with the small one first and save the best for last, or big for last, I guess is a better way to put it, because sometimes the smallish, oh my gosh. Those are all freaking tablet cases. What the heck, is that what they all are? Yeah, seven inch universal tablet case. Whoa, let me count these out, that's insane. I usually found like loose ones, but look at this. These are brand new, let's count these out. That's two. We got three, four, five, six. Okay, some of them have different designs. You see that? Like that's like checkered looking, and that's just whatever that is, leather. So six, seven, eight. Oh my goodness! That's why this thing has so much weight to it. Nine, ten, eleven. We even got some nice pink ones now, so I have a variety. But so far, eleven. Oh, a gold one too. Eleven. 12, 13, 14, I'm trying to put them all in order, it's going to drive my OCD crazy, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18 brand new tablet cases that have never even been opened, that is insane, let me just look at one of these, so it's a DN Tanner brand, I've never heard of them, if anyone's heard of them let me know, but yeah these things look really nice. I can't believe there's your F5 below. Oh, made exclusively for 5 below. Okay, so it's a 5 below brand. So, But still, those are really nice. Definitely be able to sell these because I actually don't own a tablet. And everyone in my family that has one already has a case. So really, I don't have a need for them. But definitely be able to make some money off those because out of probably the 100 phone cases we found, I think we sold all but about 7 of them at the yard sale. So they go like that. Everyone has a phone and a tablet. So that's definitely some quick, easy money. Let's get into the big bag. First we got a pop soccer ball, looks like. I wonder if it's just a, no, I feel the air coming out of it. That's popped. That sucks. And it's right after Halloween, so I'm assuming we're gonna have some decoration stuff. It looks like, not decoration, um, costume stuff. So that's what that looks like. Let's look at this first. Ooh. Return, as you can see on it. It's just some off-brand Legos, basically. But I don't know why it's returned. Everything. Looks like it's in there. They look just like real Legos. That's crazy. But anyway, I'm 99% sure the whole thing's in there. They always are. The returns are rarely, rarely ever actually like real returns. And they're actually defective. They're usually always perfectly fine products. Let's see what's in this box. Looks like a wire. Ooh, nice earbuds. Ooh, red and white ones too. I really hope these work. Let me see. And they're definitely in there. It doesn't say return or nothing. My assumption usually is if it doesn't say return, it's just a damaged box probably. And then no one wants to buy it because they can get another one for the same price that looks good. So they end up just throwing them out. So I'm hoping these will work fine. They look really cool. Red and white are two of my favorite colors. So I will definitely use those if they work. And again, every single pair I've ever found except for one has worked. So I'm pretty sure they will work. That's just some cardboard. Let's get into the wigs. I see wigs everywhere. We got a blonde wig here, and I'm guessing they're throwing these out because Halloween just passed by, so probably going to find a lot of Halloween stuff soon. And I also cannot wait to check the Halloween stores, like the stores like a Spirit Halloween and that kind of stuff that only sell Halloween stuff. I really cannot wait to look in there. But anyway, we got a blonde wig right here and a little car that was stuck to it. I know that's from the movie cars. I only seen the first one, and that was a lot of years ago, so I have... No idea what his name is. The only one I know is the main character, um, Lightning McQueen. That definitely doesn't look like him. So, got a little car. Oh, a charger. It looks like an empty box. I don't see it. Yeah, empty box, no charger. Yes, another helicopter. Whoa. I'll we'll get to that in a second. But another helicopter, and I don't see return or anything written on it. So, I'm assuming again, just a damaged box. And those, these things are really cool to be only five bucks. They really do fly pretty high. What is this? Is this like the thing you put in an old car? Wow, that just smacked me right in the face. 
Cassette audio adapter. That's exactly what this is. If your car is just old, you put that in there and you can play real music. That's pretty cool. I wish my car had one. My car only has a CD player. It's like in that awkward age where it's not new enough to have, um, what is the aux cable port, but not old enough to have a cassette, so I can't really use it. We got a really bright red wig here. Look at the picture. Yeah, it's really bright red, but this one's still in the package. That's pretty cool. Let's go to the other wig. I see this black one too. There's a wire too, but we got a black wig. These will just be fun for my cousin to play with. That's all these really are. They're not really like expensive name brand or anything, so not worth anything, but still a fun toy for them. We got a wire that's micro, you no, know, iPhone, but uh, the wires are ripped inside, so that one's not going to work, unfortunately. Go ahead and throw that away. Got a little flower thing. This would be hilarious to put on a cat. But still, somebody will play with this, so we'll keep that for sure. Fidget spinner box. Let's see what else we got in here. Ooh, rabbit ears. Ooh, a unicorn rabbit? Is that what that is? So random, but definitely going to take it. Looks like we got a Nerf dart gun. Look at that. Even all the darts are on it. I wonder if it works. Let's see. How do you load it? Oh, oh it's just a pump gun. I'll get that in a second, but it definitely does work. We had another wire here, USB to iPhone, and this one looks like it's in perfect condition. I love these rope chargers so much more. They last way longer, in my experience. Well, here's a big wire that's another perfect condition iPhone charger. Do you remember banded up? That's unusual. I don't think I've ever found one banded up for me. That just scared me. I thought that was an animal. <laughs> what else we got in here? Some big league chew that's open. Or is it open? Yeah, it's open, so I'm not gonna keep that. Uh, this is the thing, it's the ripped box, but it looks perfectly fine. It just clips on your vent and it holds your phone while you're driving. We actually use the one that we found in the dumpster before that goes under your window and suction cups and holds your phone. We use that every single day and it's worked great. Empty box, is that a mouse? It is, this is a mouse. Is that the piece in there? Come out. I think that's what that is. I hope. I can't figure out how to get it out. Oh, there it is. Yep, look at that. Wireless mouse. A pink wireless mouse. That's pretty freaking cool. I'm pretty sure that's going to work too. It probably just doesn't have batteries. Yep, no batteries. I find a lot of electronics return without batteries. I'm wondering if there's people that are just really like mean, I guess, or just dingy enough to take buy electronics, take the batteries, and return them. I don't know because I find that all the time. Ooh, looks like we have some markers down here and a little watch. Look at the watch first. A uh, Ninja Turtle watch with the time way wrong, but of course that can be adjusted. Definitely keep it. Three little pens here. It looks like Captain America, Iron Man, and I can't really tell who that one is. It says Marvel on it. And then more Captain America. Definitely, definitely will take those as well. Are those more? Ooh, yay. I see a fidget spinner too. More Marvel pens and... This is, what is that? A graphic marker eyeliner. Oh, so some makeup. And I see a white fidget, ooh, two fidget spinners. Let's see if they both work. Boom. Everyone I found a five below work. The only broken fidget spinner I ever found was from GameStop. I, don't even, I didn't even know they sold them. And they both work fine. Woo. Can you actually see my breath out here? I could see my breath and I'm in freaking shorts. I'm a smart guy. Uh, what is this? That's whatever it is. It's open. I'm so glad whatever it is didn't leak all over everything. I'm glad it stayed in there. It's probably so cold it's almost frozen. But anyway, now, what is that? Nothing. Alright, so anyway, looks like that's all for these two bags, but this is a really good haul. Usually with Five Below, we found that every third day, every three days when we usually find bags like this, the returns, but... We had just found a bag yesterday, and now we find two bags today, and we got another awesome box full of sweet things. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you did enjoy, make sure you leave it a big fat thumbs up, and if you're not already, hit that subscribe button for awesome dumpster diving videos every single day. And until next time, peace out.